Trust me, this day is nasty, nasty, nasty. Ooh! Okay. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese, and I'm back with another epic video, man. And today, we got my baby Millionaire right here. Hey, mama. What's going on, mama? You look so beautiful today. That's right, man. Today, guys, we got to fix Lady X's brakes on her truck, and we're going to be bringing the new Monte Carlo. I got a name for it, but I ain't going to tell y'all just yet. I'm going to tell y'all towards the end of the video, or in the middle of the video, so y'all got to stick around for the whole video, but we're going to be bringing that in the garage later on and uh, just doing a whole analysis of everything that's going down, man. So y'all make sure y'all stick around for this whole entire video. Don't skip the ads. Do what you need to do right now. And join the stunt squizzy because we got a G-body. That's right, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Had to make sure my baby was okay. That's right, because she is in her car seat, ready to go. We gotta go and uh, drop off the Doberman to the other property, and we got to grab a little space heater so that I can plug up in here. Cause I gotta repair the rear brakes on her car. Huh? Okay, we'll get it, and then gotta take. The Doberman to the other property, guys. Yeah, I got some bad, bad news. I'm gonna tell y'all about something that happened to the Doberman, but I'm gonna tell y'all that a little bit later on, and I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all ain't gonna be happy with me, man. But guys, check it out. We still got the Reaper hooked up with. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all the name just yet. I know y'all waiting. Yes, yes, yes. I do have a name. For the new Monty SSG body. But I ain't telling y'all exactly what it is yet, man. We just go chill for a minute, man. But I am definitely part of the G Body Nation right now. That's right, man. G Body Nation. Your boy is in that thing. I'm in that game. And uh definitely got some balls to the car. Yeah, definitely got some balls. So we're gonna be going and grabbing the rims from Drac, and we're gonna be throwing those on there. Um, probably not gonna happen today, but you know what I'm saying within the next couple days I got to drive to PC customs grab the wheels off the track I'm actually got to go and load up the other wheels in the back of the Reaper Ugh, ah, Nah, that ain't gonna happen today, but Damn 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 that would have been good if I could have just got the rims right now that way I didn't have to go back over there to the other property, but yeah, that's gonna eventually have to happen grab the rims for Drac and uh, take those out there and swap out the other wheels, the TISs. But I made it, y'all. I made it. What we got going on here, baby X, lady X? Which air tire need air, baby? Which one? The, the front? It don't look like it, but we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at it. All right, so y'all just stick around, man. We're about to go head to the other property. And I'll highlight y'all in a minute. Let's get it, let's go. Yeah. 
All right, Stunt Squizzy. So, man, your boy just been thinking, man. Woo, man, this G-Body is definitely about to bring some fire content to the channel. Even though it's cold, I can still play around a little bit, man. As long as I got heat, everything else going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Everything else going to be all right, man. So, yeah, I just got to do a whole diagnostic of the car, see exactly what I want to replace on the car. What I'm gonna leave the same, you know what I'm saying? Again, this car is never bought to be a blue chip collectible. So, you know, guys, we're not trying to make it the most pristine Monte Carlo SS in the world. It's a fun factor car that is going to end up being a car that one of my subscribers or somebody else can end up getting, guys, because. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to just raffle it off at the end, guys, or do a giveaway or something like that, you know what I'm saying, where I give it away, you know, for donations or something. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but guys, drop in the comment section and let me know, would you pay for a $25 entry to, you know what I'm saying, possibly win the car? you know, on a giveaway or something. Would you be interested in something like that? Or should I just put a price on it for sale and just let somebody just buy it? Drop in the comments. I want to hear and get you guys feedback on that. Because if the tickets are only like 25 bucks, then I think that's reasonable. You know, I think that we might get a lot of people to actually enter, you know. And it's not like I got to get a million dollars for the, for the car or whatever. That's why I'm not trying to say let's do a $100 ticket raffle or anything like that. I think 25 bucks should be fine if I was to consider going that route. I don't think I'm going to need to do any type of motor swaps or anything because the motor is definitely healthy. The times that the car runs is 13 seconds right now currently in a quarter mile. So that's plenty of fun for a person with a G body, you know what I'm saying? That's plenty of fun. So, you know, hey guys, that's what some scat packs run. You know what I'm saying? Some people drive the scat packs run all day long, especially Mustang 5.0 drivers. Yeah, they run five, 13 seconds all day long too. So, what did you say, nigga? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. Just playing. No, but uh, guys, no, I think that it'll be a you know, a nice fun car for somebody. It doesn't need an LS swap or anything like that, man. It's just to have fun. It's gonna have a nice little set of wheels on it that's gonna, you know what I'm saying, be a little history of drag. And man, whoever gets it, you know, they gonna, they gonna definitely have a fun little car. You know what I'm saying? It's not beat up, no rust or anything like that. Couple of small little dents. I might have to call over my man, Dino, to, you know what I'm saying, address those small, and I, when I say small, this guy's very small, you know, very small, little dings, but again, a car is never going to be a blue chip collectible, it's, that's not what it is for, so, I don't know guys, I can't wait to hear y'all feedback, man, and uh, once we do, man, we going to, you know what I'm saying, decide on what we're going to do, man, but, G-Body time, yes, it's official, man, your boy got it, man, let's go, I'll holler at y'all in a second. <laughs> All right, guys, so your boy Stunner Reese has made it to the other house, man. And I'm about to show you guys what the hell my dumbass just did, guys. Y'all hear them wheels rubbing? Yeah, CJ always say, man, if the wheels ain't rubbing, they ain't big enough, man. But I got a big-ass issue going on because right now, if you look back there, you see my giveaway car, the Putt Putt Prius, that's right. And I don't have the keys to it. So I gotta try to maneuver this car around it without hitting this gate and without tearing up nothing. Yeah, yeah, you hear the beepers going off and shit? Yeah, it's not liking this. It is not liking this, man. So yeah, I think I made it, y'all. I think I made it. I think I made it. I don't hear no crunching yet. I don't hear any crunching. Oh, I'm here beeping. A lot of beeping though. All right, hold on, hold on y'all. We are almost, 
almost in. Looking at the mirror. Looking at the camera. That's going. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. Because it's time to get too much. Be, 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 be going on for me, man. So that should be able to do it, man. Now I got some good news. But before I share that good news with you, man, I got to give you the bad news. I'm going to have to come back some more. Just a little bit. Ugh. But I'll do that in a second. Yeah, I got, I got room. I got room. I got plenty of room. I got plenty of room. All right, so let me give you guys the bad news. Bad news. Pulling my car out of the other garage at the other property onto the street so that I could bring it over here. Yeah, boy, Stunner Reese, man. Nick the damn 4G right there, man. Oh. Yeah, y'all see it. Nicked it, but it's right here on this little part right here. It's not really on the entire face. Just this little area right here, so I got to get some touch-up paint and touch up that 4G, man. Damn it, man. I ruined the damn 4G Gojis, man. Damn it, man. Damn it, damn it, damn it, man. But yeah, that's the bad news. Now, let me give y'all some good news, man. If you guys saw the original video that I dropped yesterday when I picked up the G-Body, well, that car does not have a automatic electric fan turn on. It's hooked up to a hard wire switch where you just either had a fan on all the time or you have to have it off. Well, I bought this kit, which... <laughs> I bought this kit like 10, 15 years ago, guys, probably. And this is the kit where it'll cut on automatically when it gets to a certain temperature. So I don't have to keep on hardwiring it or, or turning the switch on and off whenever I want it on. So that is a good thing. I thought I threw this thing out when I was cleaning out Drac to take it to PC, but I didn't. I said it right there and I had a feeling in my head. I'm like... When I was taking it out the car, I was like, should I throw this thing away? I, I don't even have a GE body. And the and Drac, you know, it's got an LS swap. So I was like, I ain't going to never need this thing. But I just happened to keep it. And I got it right here, man. So that is a good thing. I don't have to look for it. I don't have to find one. I got one. Now, the other good thing is I got to load up all my tires I'm going to end up just putting everything inside my Pup Pup Prius giveaway car and driving that thing up there to PC to pick up the wheels off a of track because that thing gets a whole lot better gas mileage than the Reaper. That's right, man. Big Cadillac X-Cylinder or two-cylinder Prius hybrid. Which one y'all taking for a long two-hour journey? I'm going with this one, too. That's right, man. It's the Pup Pup, so it'll be all right. All right, man, but let me get ready and get out of here, man. Lady X and Baby X is waiting on me. We got to go to the auto parts store. Got to go grab her some brakes for her truck. Got to get to work on that. And then also got to get my trailer lights, too. Yeah, if y'all noticed in my other video that my trailer lights was acting up, got to get some new trailer lights and get that situated. All right, but I'll catch y'all back in a minute. Let's get it. Let's go. G-Body! Yeah! One hour later. All right, guys, so I have made it back to the Squizzy Lab, and we got a first-time experience of having the X-Mobile in here. That's right, man, but guys, it's not in here for a good reason. It's in here because I got to change all the damn brakes all the way around on the car. That's right, man, new pads going all the way around, so I'm about to get this done. You guys know how to change brake pads. Nothing fun about that, so we're going to check it out, man, with the new brake pads going down all around in three two one let's go yeah all right guys and just like that it is finished front and back brake pads have been replaced man and it is seems like it's driving real fine i'm going to do a test drive right now just to make sure bent babies are all uh, safe and i made it man hands dirty boy Look like a slave. Whew. Yeah. Get this thing 
test drive. And uh I'll be back, y'all. So let's get it, let's go. Yeah, hands on with the shits. Alright, guys, that thing is running great. Now it is time for me to take my baby off the trailer and pull her in the garage, man. And we're about to start breaking down everything that has to be done with this thing. So yeah, super excited about that. As soon as I wash my hands. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it is that time, man. We are about to get this thing off of this trailer, man, and see what it really do. I ain't gonna drive it too far. I'm gonna probably just take it down the block and uh, back in the garage. But yeah, so pull Reaper right there, drop it down, and then uh, go from there. So let's get this done. I'm happy. Yeah. All right, guys. So <laughs> I got the money collar all unstrapped, but I got to show you something, man. The same fucking curve that just scratched the wheels on the Doberman just got the reaper <laughs> same fucking big ass dumb ass curb that's in the street man man i'm pissed off man look at that shit shit is ridiculous i cannot win for losing with these damn rims uh, uh, well at least i don't have to worry about these rims getting scratched all right let me get this damn thing down let's go all right we got this damn thing started and it sounds so crazy definitely took a little gas to get it started man it's not used to this cold weather i can already tell that for sure but man this thing is droning like a mug boy rumbling boy it sounds like the wwf rumbling in here man shit i cannot wait to play around with this thing man this sounds so beastly actually i need to take it and get some gas in it i got a little bit over a quarter take or a little bit under a quarter take but i'm pretty sure this thing burned gas pretty quickly so CAF man. Cold as fuck, oh, man. Glad I got this little bit of heater, man, but I had my damn garage door open so long that all the heat escaped and yeah, it's freezing in here, man. But we about to go through everything that I'm going to pretty much be doing on the G Body Monte Carlo SS. Yes, it is a true SS. That's right, man. And uh, I'm gonna just take y'all through like a little quick walkthrough. And we're going to go through everything, man, and just kind of like see what problems I'm not going to fix and see what I am going to fix. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this car is never bought to be a blue chip collectible. I didn't buy it for that. I bought it to have fun, dog it. Well, not dog it, but just have fun because, you know, if it's a spin the tires, I'm going to spin the tires. And yeah, that's what it is, man. This car was a grudge racer's car. And pretty much that's what it was built for. He added a line lock, electric fan. Let me put my light back on. And the garage. Yeah, so line lock, electric fan. He's got a built to death 400 small block, all forged, everything. Uh, he's got a spool in it. He's got posi rear end. He's got. I believe he said 363 gears or something like that. He said, no, not 363. I think he said maybe 316 or something like that. Guys, I'm not real big into the gears. The only gears that I really know is the 373s and the 410s. And I know it's not a 373 because I asked him. So, yes, um, we also got, you know, the tack, the shift light. I mean, he was all about the business with this car. Now, it's not a straight up legit race car with a roll cage or anything like that. I don't know if you guys heard in the videos, he said that the car ran 13s, uh, leaving at 3,000 RPM, you know. So if I'm driving, it'll probably do low 10s, you know what I'm saying. Boy, if you don't get... Just joking, just joking, man. Just joking, man. Don't get your panties all up in the bunch, y'all. But yeah, man, no. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's built for grudge racing. He said he won a lot of money with this car. Now, his brother who actually built the car actually came over off camera after I finished 
talking with the dude who was actually selling it. His brother is the one who actually built it. He came over. He told me everything about the car, ran down all the specs on it and everything. And man, uh, car sound like it, you know, it's set up pretty good. I mean, it don't have the best of everything, but as far as a grudge race car, it was doing what it needed to do. He said he won some money with it. You know what I'm saying? Quite a bit of money with it. And uh, before he got rid of it. So that's what it is, man. So he showed me pictures. He's got a lot of new cars that he's building and has built. This dude got a nice collection. He got a 71 uh, Chevelle that he wouldn't let go, man. He told me he'd been on a search for that car, stalking down the owner for a long time. And he finally got the owner to sell it to him. So, yeah. So that is, you know what I'm saying? Not gonna happen, but it was it was worth a try. It was a beautiful car, man. But let me tell y'all what your boy Stunner Reese, man, aka G Body Reese. That's right, man. We can definitely call me G Body Reese, man, because I'm back in the G Body game. This is my third Monte Carlo SS, man. I have uh, had two silver ones. This is my second silver one, and then uh, my other one was like a maroon, black cherry. But yeah, so yeah, man, G Body Reese, it is right now, right? But yeah, let me tell y'all some of the things that I'm going to be doing with the car. And then don't forget to stick around, man, because somewhere I'm going to tell y'all what the name of this car is, all right? And uh, y'all just got to let me know if y'all rocking with it or not, man. But even if y'all not rocking with it, it is what it is, man, because that's what I named it, man. I named all my damn cars. I even named my damn trailer. All right, but this one thing right here is something that I'm going to address. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to line up and uh, seal down in here better. Even if I have to put some 3M double-sided tape or something on the other side of that so that it sits down, down better and more flush, I'm going to address this. I mean, that's easy, simple to do. Uh, and even if it's not easy, simple to do, that's something that I know I can get done. I am going to do that. The engine compartment for the most part is going to stay the same. I'm gonna clean everything up. All the parts that could use like a little coat of satin black paint or something, I'm going to touch all those up. Uh, and that's pretty much it. He's going to see if he can send me the fan shroud for this car. If he does send me the fan shroud, I will be adding that. Now, it does have an electric fan on it, but he has the electric fan hooked up to this switch right here. That says fan. Yeah, it just happens to say fan. Well, anyway, just in case y'all can't see it, it is right there. All right, but anyway, that's what that piece right there is for, the one that I got from my other house. I actually got that so that I can hook that electric fan up and actually make it work off of the temperature of the radiator. So once that sensor senses that the radiator gets to a certain temperature, it'll kick on the fan and I won't have to worry about turning on a manual fan or something at any time. I worry about the car getting hot, blowing the head gaskets, any of that stuff. Other thing, going to be fixing the power steering pump fluid leak. Uh, whatever's going on with that, that's going to get addressed. We're going to get that situated. Going to be definitely doing an oil change, uh, making sure that the oil is good, doing some new spark plugs, spark plug wires, things like that basic tune up um, as cold as it is outside it's about 30 degrees outside i was able to get it to start not sure if i'm gonna keep this holly 750 on here or not i probably will guys but if it comes to a point where it's giving me too much problems i might swap it out for an electronic a fuel injected carburetor and that'll be about it not doing no whole fuel injection system or nothing like that turning it over to all of that no it'll be a simple electronic fuel injected carburetor bolted on wired up boom and that'll be a done deal all right um like i said plugs wires battery seems to be in good condition i'll monitor that i'll probably grab me a trickle charger and uh make sure that thing stays uh hot um I'm going to look and make sure that my heat is working. I, I just had it on. I did hear the fans blowing, but I did not let it run long enough for the temperature to get up to really check and see if the heat is working. I do want my heat to work. 
I do see that it has the hoses coming out of the firebox over there. So I'll uh, just like I said, go through it everything and make sure that uh, it is working as far as the heat. You know, going to probably do some touch up paint on those headers just to make them look a little bit more nicer. Clean it all up, you know what I'm saying? Take a nice little brush, detail the engine compartment up. For the most part, it's gonna look pretty much just like this. Just these little areas like this. I'm probably gonna, you know, touch up with some spray paint and stuff like that. You know, no, it's not going to PC Customs or nothing like that, y'all. This is not that car. Drac is that car. This is a fun, have fun, get out there, make that motherfucking ass dance. That's right, this is the ass dancer. Yep, that's what this going to be doing. Dancing out the ass. Uh, another thing I'm going to do, nine times out of ten, going to be replacing these rear tail lights. Or I'm going to order up some new ones. I would like to get the actual 86 style, but you have to, uh, according to my boy Gucci, have to actually get a new rear bumper as well, which I'm not opposed to doing to go with the newer tail lights, but... If I don't, it's not a big deal. Just a fun car. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be having some fun with. It's not going to be a blue chip collectible, y'all. So I please don't start saying, man, you shit, man. I'm going to take the PC, man. Spend 15000 on the paint job, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not this car. That is Drac, all right? This car, man, was built for having fun. Guys, drive it home 2013. This car been running a long time that's right man and running fast a long time uh this door over here i'm going to try to see if i can take it to a body shop and see if they can align this part of the door right here guys it's uh out just a little bit not terrible but i would like it in a little bit more and just to get it to line up that is something that could be done uh Oh, I just hit the damn drywall. He said he put new bushings on the door, and uh, that is the result of it. Uh, so, yeah, we got that. Door panels, door cards, whatever you want to call them, they are probably going to get touched up with a, a coat of paint or something like that, interior paint or something. Let's see what I can do as far as to, just to touch them up. Uh, see if I can order just these little clamps right here. Mm. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do a whole refurbish. If I can find the bottom half of the doors relatively inexpensive and uh, just bolt them up or something like that, I may do that. But other than that, I'm not doing the top part is fine. There's no rips. There's no tears. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a new center console. This one is still all here but it's been hacked up to put the B&M in and it's just a little crusty looking, but it's not too bad. Same thing with this door panel here. I'll probably end up trying to see if I can either paint this one as well and, or, you know, replace the bottom part of that. The seats, I got this one little rip in this seat here. Uh, that is the only rip in the whole interior probably not going to oh and this one here i didn't notice that one yesterday but uh this one and this one so i probably won't do too much to that because actually the back part of the seats actually look pretty good um the rear seat the back seat it looks excellent carpet looks in good condition i'll probably just do a nice little shampoo and uh get some new floor mats for that as far as the dash gonna get a real good detail you guys can see a lot of dust dirt and stuff on it uh i gotta find out why the dash lights are not coming on when you turn on the actual headlights the dash lights don't come on the lights come on but not the dash lights. so i gotta see what's going on with that all the turn signal on the passenger side in the front is not operating for some reason so i gotta see why this one is not activating it's probably because of these wires that's hanging down right here that look like they cut and yeah so those wires right there that's not hooked up that's going to that is probably a good inkling or an idea why that's not working but we're gonna you know get that taken care of 
probably put some new bulbs in there, probably some LED bulbs or something, just to spice it up a little bit. I might get some newer headlights with some like LEDs or something, you know what I'm saying? Just a little more spicier, you feel me? That may come, may, may not. All the glass is perfect, no broken glass. This power window motor seems like it's going operating kind of slowly so i'm gonna probably look into that see if that's something that needs to be just adjusted or if it needs to be replaced if it is the case where it needs to be replaced i will replace that all right um this power lock switch right here i'm gonna look and see if i can find that it's got a hole in it right there but uh yeah i'm gonna see if i can find that uh and a new radio uh housing this one is cracked in half and they installed this radio right here so that's you know that's gonna be something that i'm going to do but guys that's pretty much it this is not getting replaced it's still in pretty good shape this vent looks like it's uh had better times but i might see if i could just replace the vents but it, that's not mandatory at all you know what i'm saying so the car will be a fun car. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's going to look nicer than it does now once I clean it up and everything and, and really get into it. Don't have a lot of stains on the seats or anything. Like the seats are actually in really good condition. Headliner looks brand new. Brand new. I think they had to put a brand new headliner in here because this, this headliner is just like immaculate. Back seat, perfect nothing going on with the back seat probably clean the seat belts up a little bit like a nice nice detail man nice detail and uh that's gonna be probably probably about it man door weather stripping looks pretty good yep door weather stripping looks good let's go around to the other side of the trunk Man, very good condition. No rust, no rust through, no surface rust even on the trunk. The whole entire trunk. This door, weather stripping looks brand new. Yeah, this all looks good. Everything looks good. Like I said, no rust on the doors, anywhere. No, I mean, just a nice, solid ass car. Nice, solid ass car. Doors closed good. Let's see. Probably gonna take this damn ugly ass antenna off though, man. Damn, stupid chill, man. Oh, yep. Got some aluminum foil right there. Don't know what the hell that's for, but I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, you can definitely see it has a power steering pump leak. I'm going to actually bag that back and make sure that's no oil. Uh, but, yep. Look like they just got some weak-ass exhaust on here. It looked like a 3-inch back there, but it's like a 2-inch up here. Kind of weird. Flowmaster mufflers. Going to be selling these drag packs. These tires is brand new, brand new, and I got a brand new set of tires for the rear too. Yeah, but I'm gonna be selling these. So get in my Instagram DM if you wanna buy them. Get in the DM, and they're gonna come with an extra set of tires too for the back. So yeah, you're gonna get a nice little something, something, but yeah, man, no rust, nowhere. Look like it was uh, even coated or something. Quarters are good. No sign of damage ever. Rear quarters don't look like they ever buckled or nothing like that. Don't look like it had that much power. But if you look at the paint, it actually got like a metallic flake in it. And the paint is actually not that bad. It's got some shine to it, y'all. It's got some shine to it. Let Catfish do his thing. And uh, we might be able to 
get this thing. Yeah, it's got some shine to it. Yeah. He ain't all the way bogus all. Yeah, but is the race, uh, I guess, the vision or whatever they was in. The dash does got a crack on it, but it's got a dash pad, so, hey, I'm going to have to live with that. But this is uh, one part of the paint that uh, lifted and got this little small crack right here, y'all, uh, on the front. If I was to actually put a, a front license plate on there, you wouldn't even see that. And that might be the fix for that, <laughs> but no, I don't know. We'll see. I might not do nothing to it. But yeah, I'm gonna clean everything up in here, man. Get everything looking tidy, and uh, get all this dirt and stuff off of it, man. But yeah, but G Body Reese, man, we here. We are here. We are here. Gotta go PC grab my Rams from Drac. Slap them boys on, and uh. Probably leave a little SS on the side, man. But a damn bird took a crap on my damn car. All freaking ready, man. Got to get that off right now before it ruins the paint. But, yeah. Need y'all to let me know what y'all think, man. But what y'all been waiting on, man, is the name of the car. Yeah, that's what y'all been waiting on, man. I already know y'all want to know what am I naming my G body SS man. All right. I know some people said silver ghost, silver bullet, silver this, silver that, gray ghost, that's that, 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 that. No, none of that. Those are all too common, easy names, man. Y'all know, man, I can't do nothing that's just simple. That would be too simple. Yeah, your boy Stunner Reese, man, got to have a feeling a car's going to talk to me and tell me what it want his name to be, man. And the official name, ooh, is that a cow hood or is that a cow hood? Yes, sir. The official name of this car is... Scrappy, that's right, man. This is Scrappy Do. That's right, man. <laughs> I know y'all like what the fuck? Yeah, man. Scrappy Do, man. The reason I want to call it Scrappy is because it's not ever gonna be a ten point car. It's not going to be that while it's in my possession. It's kind of like just a scrap, scrap, scrap. That's right, it's a scrap, but it got some shine to it now. Don't think it ain't got no shine to it. Yeah, but no, nah, it's just my little scrappy. My little scrappy, and that's what I'm going to call it, scrappy. Yes, sir, so that is the official name. I know I'm going to get a whole lot of people saying, don't call it scrappy, this, that, and other. It's a done deal. You could drop all the names, comments in the world. But the name of this car is Scrappy, as long as I own it. It is Scrappy, the G-Body. Scrappy, the G-Body. That's right, man. Scrappy, the G-Body. That's right, man. All right. But, yeah, that's going to close this video out, guys. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to be trying to probably get up with PC. Maybe, possibly. But... We have to get this thing installed on the car. And your boy Stunner Reese, man, also bought the stuff to fix the trailer. That's right. The plug and stuff like that. The wires. So I got all that stuff right there. So I'm going to be trying to rewire up the trailer, the carriage. And if we get a chance, maybe, maybe not, we'll go out there and see PC. Got to get online tonight, start searching all these different parts and stuff that I want to get. And, uh, man, go from there. But that's what it is, guys. Y'all not going to get a cold start on this video. I'm going to say that for tomorrow because y'all going to love it, man. Trust me, this thing is nasty. Nasty, nasty. Oh, I can't wait to dry this thing, man. I cannot wait to dry this thing. 
Tomorrow I'm going to put some uh, gas in it and uh, probably going to go plate it tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's what we got, man. Scrappy, man. So that's it, man. That's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hey, definitely Stunt Squizzy, man. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best supporters in the world. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all rock with me. 100 you know what i'm saying and if you made it to this part of the video say what's up scrappy that's right man that's right drop that in the comments for your boy what's up scrappy but it is what it is man i'm out of here man i'll catch y'all on the next video dream team drac you got an old school buddy with you all right man i'm out man i'll at y'all on the next video yeah Today's video is brought to us by the Street Whip Stunting Facebook group. If you're into custom cars, the Big Wheel culture, Big Wheel racing, or anything customized with cars, motorcycles, and trucks, make sure you join the Facebook group Street Whip Stunting. You can post all your pictures, all your videos, and it's free. So definitely click the link in the description of this video and join the Facebook group Street Whip Stunting. Hey, 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 subscribe, share. Uh, what does it like for you to get? Subscribe, spread, like. Square? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right, subscribe, square. Yeah, subscribe, share, and like. So it ain't it, square. It, it's square. <laughs> it's square. And share. All right, that's Subscribe so. to my man.